Hey guys, it's Lisa, aka Hack Girl, because I am Hack Girl again. Finally, it's the triumphant return of me, Hack Girl. But yay, okay, anyway, I am at Disneyland today and I have a couple ideas for things I wanna do. So the first thing, obviously I wanna get food, but specifically I wanna get DCA food just because California Adventure has a ton of food that I've been wanting to try recently. And then second, I think I wanna look at merchandise because they have some winter merchandise out. And then, but we will figure out anything else along the way. But anyway, come along with me, let's hang out, and it's gonna be a fun little day. Let's do it. Also, it is not just hat girl today. I'm wearing my hoodie and my hoodie, actually wait, okay, no, I'm not hoodie girl because wearing like a hoodie, wearing a sweatshirt, being cozy is like intrinsically part of my being. So I don't think we can really call me hoodie girl, but I am wearing this hoodie that I got here last time. It is the Disneyland zip up one that says Disneyland across the back and it is really cute. And is it too warm to be wearing this today? Yes. It is 100% too warm to be wearing this and I should be taking it off like right now because I feel hot like right now, but I can't, I won't. I just, I love it too much. When I say that it's a beautiful day here at Disneyland, I mean, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Look at this. We have a perfectly blue sky. We have some small wispy puffy clouds and then the palm trees always catch the sunlight so nicely. I feel like they are, they just look kind of sparkly. Don't you think Disneyland palm trees are just sparkly? They just catch the sun in a different way. And yeah, it's beautiful. I know this is just like the boring old Esplanade. And yes, we are looking at a big old concrete slab, AKA the monorail track, but I couldn't help it and just show you, it's beautiful. I say it's beautiful and all, ooh, actually wait, there is a little bit of a bluster. <gasps> I love this. Okay, do you see it? I will. Can you feel it? <laughs> but anyway, okay, I, I say that it's beautiful, but it's also warm. The bluster is kind of helping with that. So I'm sad because it means that maybe the sweatshirt has to come off soon, like sooner rather than later. I hope not. It can always come back on later. Oogie Boogie is saying something. Oh, uh, he just said boo to us. Anyway, okay, I earlier I was like, oh, I want to look at merchandise. Specifically though, I need to tell you, I am on a teddy bear hunt today, okay? I. I know that I am a child at heart, truly, like the most childish person ever, but I love stuffed animals. I love them. And I saw that they released these plushies here at Disneyland and I was like, I think I need them. So we are on a teddy bear hunt today. Specifically, there's like a Winnie the Pooh one and then a Tigger one. I kind of want the Tigger one the most. So maybe we are on a Tigger bear hunt, a Tigger hunt today. <laughs> Wait a minute, look at what I have. This is so exciting because these have been really hard to get. And first off, they're not mine. I'm really, really sad. These are not mine, but I'll insert right now. You can check it out. Okay, so Alnani Vibes and Kanani Verse, okay? I ran into her and she is letting me show you guys the gorgeous lots of, well, I don't know if I would describe them as gorgeous. They're cute, they're fun, they're adorable, but they don't smell like strawberries, which is really sad. So I'm just, these are adorable look at how puffy they are and she told me that they went to the emporium she was able to get them at the emporium but they barely restocked them like there were just a handful like four five six like just she was one of the lucky few so i first off i think i'm going to tell her right now she should get a lotto ticket today because these have been in demand everybody i run into is like i'm looking for these and i'm like uh, i think they already sold out today <laughs> they sell out really early in the morning anyway i'm rambling they are adorable and so puffy and so cute. And I am on the hunt for them too, but uh, not today. I'm definitely not gonna be able to get them today. When I say that those ears will not be mine today, I really mean just today because typically they will stock things for, by the way, yes, I am right by trolley treats. I wanted to hear the trolley sounds. Like I said, I am a child, but okay. I was going to say about the ears. So if you are looking for a hard to get piece of merchandise, my biggest tip is to check the stores early, like first thing in the morning, because everything will be freshly stocked then. And then it's like, you know, you're really playing the game of chance if you check the stores later on in the day, because it could be sold out. And then my second tip, check all the gift shops that are off the beaten path so like the emporium is going to be a hard one five and dime will typically be a hard one as the day goes on but the like gift shops that are like far away from the main areas those typically have like a little bit better chance of getting stock but yeah those are just my tips in general 
because, you know, I am a merch hunter and today is a teddy bear hunt day. <laughs> Oh, it's Devil Donald. <laughs> Sorry, that was chaotic. We're about to witness a very unique, very special California adventure occurrence. It's when two trolleys pass in the night. I don't know why. I think that is so entertaining, but uh, yay, trolleys. I think it's just because I love the trolleys. So when I see two of them, I'm like, look, there's two. They are brethren, brothers, sisters, They, but not twins, you know? I feel like I have to point this out, but first off, it's not new, obviously, it is Halloween, but the studio catering company truck got a little makeover for Halloween, and I love makeovers, like, I love them. A makeover montage, you know, like Mia Thermopolis, Princess Diaries, my favorite thing, so I thought I would just point it out. But then the other thing is that it, they came out with the Phantom Mystery soda. It, I am intrigued by it, but at the same time, I, like, do not drink. Do not drink soda. So like, uh, I'm not that intrigued, but I just want to know, like, what flavor is it? What does it taste like? These are things that would be answered if I just got it, but I probably won't. Also, technically, I do drink soda. I just don't drink it a lot. I really don't prefer, I just want to drink water. Like, that's it. I don't like drinking juice, any of that stuff. So I could get that Fanta mystery flavor, but like, I don't know, the curiosity is not high enough. I am so excited for this. So this is the chili relleno burrito. It's rice, beans, pico de gallo, chili relleno, salsa roja and crema wrapped in a flour tortilla and served with tortilla chips and salsa roja. And it's an entire like chili relleno, it seems like inside. And it looks really gooey. I just like, I squeezed it a little bit and it like kind of gooed out. And I know that sounds gross, but it's delicious looking, sounding. I love it. And let's, ooh, okay. it's. Uh, the rice is falling out. That's what happens when you do that. Anyway, okay, let's take a bite right there. Oh my God, that is one of the best things that I've had here at Disneyland in a while. Not like a long, long time, but in, it's just, it's amazing. So first off, it's an entire chili relleno inside, breading and all, and it's super cheesy, very gooey. And the first spot I did take was a lot of rice. There's a lot of rice and a lot of beans. So. I took a couple more bites and I put the salsa on top. The salsa is really what set it off for me. It was so good. And there's crema buried deep down in there. At first I was like, uh, they said crema, but there is no, I want that sour creamness in there, but really, really good. Wow. And then it comes with my favorite thing ever, chips. Chips and cookies are like my favorite food, really. And the chips are really, really thick, like super thick. And the salsa is delicious. It's really smoky and it has like a little bit of tang going on. But I am just sad because like I will run out of that salsa so quick. So maybe I'll run over there and ask if I can get a little bit more. But that is so good. I can eat the entire thing like in five seconds, but I won't because I got one other thing. The next item is plant-based. So they have a fully plant-based option here. These are the sopas de chorizo. Oh my God. Oh my you guys, I can't pronounce anything in Spanish. And I took many years in Spanish and my mom is fluent in Spanish and I can't say any words in it. Oh my God, okay, I, just bear with me. Okay, chorizo, chorizo, con papas. Okay, I'm trying. Anyway, with refried beans, lettuce, pico de gallo with nopale, nopales. Oh no, okay, let's just call them nopales. <laughs> and then cilantro crema and pickled red onion. That was embarrassing. Also, do you like how the sweatshirt is losing the battle? It got a little bit too warm, but let's try this because I do really enjoy the plant-based options they have here, especially DCA. I feel like DCA does a really good job, but let's try, ooh, let me go this way so I don't get it all over my skirt. I feel really bad for saying this, but I feel like this is lackluster compared to the burrito. Oh my gosh, because typically I really enjoy the vegan options and I don't think that this is a bad one. It just doesn't shine as brightly as the star of the, you know, the chili relleno burrito. This one is just, there's something about it. It's like a little bit too many pickled things like that like vinegar flavor, it's like a little bit too much for me. And then I would say that the the sour cream is nice and I think that the, the flavor of the meat is just, you no, know, it's fine. And it's mainly you just taste the beans. Like it's really that salty bean flavor, but I don't know. You know what would make this better? The salsa. The salsa would definitely improve this, but 
I think it's still like a little bit too much of that pickled flavor going on. So maybe I'll take off some of the some of the pickled things and it'll be a little bit better. But still, the burrito, hands down, get that. It is incredible. And then if you like plant-based options, if you require that for your diet, then I would say that these aren't that bad. The sobas aren't that bad. Just not like the best thing that I've ever had, like vegan-wise. Oh my God, that burrito is so, so good. I would get it 100 times again and again. It's delicious. Also, I ate so many of the chips. I, yeah, like I said, I love chips. One of my favorite foods. Also sour cream, one of my favorite foods. And then the sopes, I feel so bad. They weren't bad. Like I said, they weren't bad. Just like a little bit too much pickly stuff going on for me. And I don't know, this one was definitely the winner. Check it out, they are setting up the Sanderson sister meet and greet because yes, it's an Oogie Boogie night, which honestly, I'm really sad about. They just made the announcement that was like, anybody who is not going to Oogie Boogie will be kicked out at 6 p.m. And I'm just bummed. I thought that I would be able to hang out with the Headless Horseman and all that stuff, but no, not tonight. It's an Oogie Boogie night, sigh. <laughs> walking to get coffee but then I saw that Guardians was only a 20 minute wait and when you see the Guardians is only a 20 minute wait you have to get in the line that is the rule so excited about this. I am so excited because I have been waiting for this for so long. Like it came out September 1st, the first day of Halloween, which was somehow two months ago. That's insane. How has Halloween been around for so long yet I, like I haven't even eaten all the food that I've wanted to, especially this because first off, this is a cold brew. This is from Pim Test Kitchen and this is the Witch of Westview's cold brew. It's butterscotch cold brew, marshmallow milk, and chocolate foam topped with toasted marshmallow and streusel crumbs and this is like everything that I want you know what I mean like it's butterscotch first off that is my favorite flavor ever like butterscotch caramel that sort of thing is like my favorite so I'm so excited and yes it's like the end of October and somehow I haven't tasted this yet also this is my straw this is so sad I was trying to take like video of it and I ended up crumpling up the straw so We'll have to make do. It's totally fine. I didn't notice it until now. Oh, it's looking real worse for wear. <laughs> and it's a paper straw, so it's gonna like disintegrate quickly, but it's okay. That just means I have to drink this very quickly. It also has a little bit of like purple going on. I am so excited about this. You have no idea. Okay, I did smell it. It smells like chocolate ice cream. It just smells like ice cream. That tastes like Nesquik, like chocolate milk. Okay, I love this. Let's taste, let me give it a stir. I love that it's purple too. How am I so excited about this? And I feel like I've already had coffee when I have not had coffee yet today, but let's see. I am so excited about this. Oh my God. You can really taste the butterscotch, like really, really taste the butterscotch. Sorry, I feel like there's a lot of sound around here. Anyway, okay. This is delightful. Oh my God. I hope they don't like replace this with a holiday one because sometimes they do carry over whatever Halloween items they have. Sometimes at some of the dining locations, they do carry it over into the, into the holidays, but it's like butterscotch, you know, that would work for Christmas. Please don't make this go away. Oh my, the butterscotch flavor is so intense. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, we gotta taste the marshmallow too.
Oh my God. Wait, that is so good. <gasps> it's like toasty. It like retains the toastiness. It almost has like a little bit of like caramelized feeling to it. And it's so gooey, you saw. <gasps> oh my God. I'm so sad this is, well, okay. We don't know if it's going away or not. Today has been an amazing food day. This is my favorite thing ever, especially. <gasps> All hail the butterscotch coffee. We have to do the Ewok thing where they go, oh, oh. Anyway, this is me without drinking any coffee today. I've been cursed. I've been cursed because I, I had this straw, you know, that is weak and paper-like and soggy and also bent because I, okay, listen, there's like a big, like a lot of butterscotch at the bottom that I want to like stir up into the last remaining half sip, okay? And this straw is not powerful enough to do that job. So still all hail the butterscotch cold brew. Let's all join in and the Ewok chant, right? Oh, oh, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'm breaking one of my favorite Disneyland rules, which is that if you see popcorn being popped fresh, you have to get it. You just have to get in line and get that fresh popcorn because nothing beats it. It is so delicious. It's super buttery, even though it's not real butter. It's it's plant-based butter. And then they also just, it's so good. You just have to get it. Salty, delicious, perfection, fluffy, buttery, mm, yum. Okay, anyway, I'm not getting it because I am so full. I am so full from drinking that cold brew. Like what? Also, while well, I did order two food items earlier, but either way, I'm not gonna get it. Instead, we are still on teddy bear hunt, teddy bear watch, teddy bear hunt, the teddy bear hunt. That's what we're gonna call it because I did not forget we're gonna do that. Anyway, let's go inside with Elias and Co. I don't think they're gonna have it here, but we should check. Why not? We're already here. Headless horseman. I love it. Anyway, okay, Elias and Co. As the Disney Decades collection series have been coming out one by one, I've been paying less and less attention to them as time has gone on. And this is, we're getting very close to the end, like very close. But anyway, okay, I'm just excited that we have enchanted merchandise. And I think this is really cool. Honestly, like the Giselle headband is really pretty. I've seen a lot of people wearing them around the park sometimes. Like you can tell how popular a headband is because the day they come out, the week they come out, you see a lot of people wearing them. And the other Decades Collection ears, I don't really see any here, but nobody has really been wearing them. But these I've definitely seen people around. And yes, the ribbon is super floppy, but very pretty. And then it has a lot of embroidery. It has the lace. It has the Disney Decades plaque right there. And then I love that this detail is so small, but it has little rhinestones in the flowers but very cute. And this would be really fun with a Giselle bound. Like if you, that would be so cute, right? This doesn't quite qualify. Well, this definitely doesn't qualify as the teddy bear that we're looking for. Well, mm, we're not even really looking for a teddy bear, but anyway, this is so cute. I'm so excited about this. There's an entire Kermit the Frog collection. We never get Muppets merchandise. Well, now we have all this Kermit merchandise and specifically the plush. I got the marketing email for this collection and whoever wrote the copy deserves a raise immediately because it was the cutest thing ever. It was like plush Kermit is out of the vault and ready for hugs. And I was like, stop it. Whoever wrote that, I love you. Anyway, he is very ready for hugs. He's very soft, very cute, very soft. And I'm pretty sure he's probably $30. He is $30 and he's ready for hugs. Kermit, Crocs, I feel like these two go hand in hand, right? These are really fun and definitely frog green. And then the gibbets, the Kermit, oh, they're felty. What's going on? I feel like that's not frog-like for them to be felty. In fact, quite the opposite of frog-like in my opinion, but the rest of it is rubbery and very fun and very plentiful. I don't see these selling out, although the plushes I did see those selling out at all the other shops, but anyway, $65 for these. I really hope I start seeing people walking around the park in these because this shirt makes me so happy. And there's no price marked. I'm gonna guess it's probably $35, but it's pretty good quality for a Disney shirt. Like it's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's a nice brushed cotton. And then we have Kermit right here and he is not terribly thick. We love that and he just looks he looks so happy to see you. You know, he's just looking up at you like, hello, 
I'm Kermit. I can't do the Kermit voice. Don't ask me to do that. A cute little backpack for $29.99. And my favorite part is that the print is incorporating his eyes, like the pattern. It's just, it's wonderful. I love it. And it's also a really fantastic size. It's definitely bigger than a lounge fly. And it's not quite as big as like a full size backpack, which I really like. And it has gunmetal hardware. It looks like, well, gunmetal zipper pulls. And then it has a little rubber Kermit the Frog. I think this is so cute. Is it plain on the back? It is plain on the back, but I love Kermit. I love Kermit's merchandise. Oh my gosh, please, somebody get the backpack, get the Crocs, get the shirt, and then also get the plush and put the plush in the backpack. That would be so fun. So sparkly. Oh my gosh. Okay, first off, new ears. Love new ears. Second off, I love this collection. I am just obsessed with this holiday collection. I love the pastel colors. I love the cartoon style that they have going on. Like the animation, not the animation, but the illustration is so cute. And these ears I saw in Shop Disney, I was like, yes, but I just want to see them in real life first. And I'm glad I did because look, first off, I all of them kind of flop to the back, which is unfortunate. You would really have to do some work to get these back in shape to stay sticking up straight. And even then, I don't even know if they would stay totally upright, but anyway, so pretty, so glittery. I love the pastel colors. And then I love how it has appliques and this right here, like the figural pieces in the front, they do have like debossing. So they're textural and they look kind of cool. And yes, sparkly, shimmery, shiny, and so cute. This is what the back looks like very very sparkly once again and this would look so cute if you mixed it with any of the clothing which by the way i want that that is for children but i want it so bad what do we think do you think i can make it work because this is a kids xl and typically i'm a women's small or medium so if you're interested in wearing the kids clothes i can usually get away with like a large to 2x and this looks like it would fit me it is kind of snug by the way if you try to like wear the kids clothing also the sleeves are like shorter than adult clothing, but usually with Disney stuff, it's a lot softer and then you don't have as thick of screen prints, which is really nice. Like you don't have like the heat press kind of thing going on. This is really nice. It is very soft and it doesn't have a thick print whatsoever. I love that, but Minnie Mouse on the front, let's check the price. The other benefit is it's usually just like $10 cheaper. Let's see, this is $39.99. This would be like $20 cheaper than if it were an adult one. And then on the back, it's just a little forest scene so cute i love this i also love this sweater this is a women's knit sweater i think it's 69.99 let's see 69.99 and this is so cute it's a very thick knit so this would definitely keep you warm and i feel like it would not work for a lot of days in southern california like it is that thick but it is so cute it has a little forest scene all around it and then the characters are all embroidered there's mini mickey skiing down the slopes and then pretty sure there's one character oh my gosh there's a little goofy on the back this is so cute and I just think this would be the cutest match with the ears. Look, there's only one left on the rack, so it's looking kind of sad. But the cutest pair, this hat right here is $25, and it is really cute. It's a really nice soft blue knit, and then it has all these characters embroidered across it. So we have Dumbo. I like that Dumbo is pink, very interesting. And then we have Alice in Wonderland. We have Pinocchio. I love the way Pinocchio looks. Who else? Peter Pan. How cute is this? But yeah, $25. And the awesome part is that, you know, at Disneyland, it does get pretty chilly in the winter when you're outside and stuff like that. So wearing a hat is always very welcome. So I feel like this would be the perfect little Disney hat to wear if you're coming to the parks when it's cold. These jackets are perfect for Disneyland in the winter because they're just like the right amount of cozy, you know, they're Sherpa lined, they are fluffy, they are furry. Oh, but they're not lined in Sherpa. So they actually... They're not like that, that heavy. That's actually kind of nice because they would be good layering sweatshirts. Well, good layering jackets for Disneyland, but they're part of the Mouseworks collection. So let's see, they have the black one right here and Mickey is in some classic colors. And then this light teal one right here, we have Mickey in some more pastel colors and they have snaps down the front and then it looks like they have zippered pockets. Yeah, zippered pockets. Let's see, $69.99. And then the thing about the Mouseworks collection was that they had the same items, but like in multiple different colors. So I'll keep an eye out because I have a feeling it comes in more than just teal and black. 
right around the corner they had another color this one is burgundy it's a very classic type of color and then mickey is also in classic colors right there but honestly i would not be surprised if they had even more colors coming out i just that was like the whole mouse works vibe these hoodies are so cute and they totally remind me of tokyo disney merch there's just something about them. I think it's just the very sweet little faces on all the hoods. And I'm pretty sure that there are four styles, but at the very least there's three because I can see three right here. So this one is Stitch, very cute, very cuddly. And then look, his ears, he has his floppy ears and they all have a chest detail. This is made out of like chenille and then the hood is made out of Sherpa. But then the Chip and Dale one, look, it has both Chip and Dale. And then this one right here is Winnie the Pooh. I think this one is my favorite one. He is so very sweet. And then look at his precious face and his precious ears. Actually, the ears on the Dale one take the cake for the cutest ones. They are so cute. His face is so cute, right? And I would say, look at this. This is totally my favorite because it's like a nice soft dusty rose. They're all $70. And then they're in between like a medium weight and a heavy weight. These would be super cozy in the winter. And I love it. I love this one come on so cute the only real reason that i came in here is to look for that teddy bear well to look for that tigger well i also want the winnie the pooh one but um i want them both and this is the area that we would be able to find them at big top toys and it's really chaotic right now so i'm gonna look and then get out of here because oh my gosh there's just so many people because everyone is getting kicked out for oogie boogie so like everybody's coming in here and I want out. I want out ASAP. But if I don't find it, we'll go to World Disney instead. But yeah, let's cross your fingers. Hunting for teddy bears. I think that's a very cute thing to say. That we're just hunting for teddy bears. Ooh, I think these are all the weighted ones. I like that Mickey right there. And these actually weigh a good amount. And they. the only thing that I find is... I see a lot of adults. This is, whoa, this is a lot heavier than I remember, but I see a lot of adults getting these. And then there's also Grogu. Where's Grogu? There he is. Look at him. Sometimes they make Grogu look like a goblin, but not here. He has his precious little button nose. Very, very cute. Although he does have like the goblin type of hands and feet, but we love these way to plushies. And then they also have the what are these called again? Cuddlies. Oh my gosh, these are divinely soft. If you don't own one or if you've never like, you know, held one, they are so soft. So, so soft. Look at this. And they're long. They are cozy. I love them. I like the Mickey one up there because he's kind of like, he's, well, he's like nursery colors, right? But I do like the baby stuff. But anyway, we are here on the hunt for teddy bears. Where are they? Wait a minute. Ooh, okay. <gasps> the Mickey and Minnie are here. So they have the Mickey, these... This is the brand that I'm looking for. Well, we're looking for Winnie the Pooh and we're looking for Tigger. This one is Minnie. She is so cute. And it's made by the German brand Steif. I want to say it should say on the ear. I believe it's Steif. But anyway, yeah. They make really expensive bears. Like, I'm talking like they've made like thousand and plus dollar bears before. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. But anyway, Minnie is so cute. And then matching Mickey. I don't own them. I think it's the cheeks. I don't know. The cheeks are confusing to me, but we're looking for Pooh. There he is. Okay, we have Pooh. Where's Tigger? Do we see Tigger anywhere? Come on. Tigger hunt. No. Okay, they might have sold out of him. This is Winnie the Pooh. Look at how precious he is. He has beans in his bottom, and he is so cute. These are $40 each, and they're just adorable. I love them, but okay, I think the hunt continues because I did want Winnie the Pooh, but I more so wanted Tigger. I kind of wanted them as a pair, but where are they? Hello? I want, come on. I just want, I want Tigger too. I have something so exciting to show you. Look. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you like Toy Story, if you like peas, then this is the perfect thing for you. And I actually already own this size. I own the bigger size too, because yes, they make a bigger size. These are my favorite thing ever. They are so cute. And yes, it obviously zips up. And look, they have different expressions. They go from smiley to smilier. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, okay, listen, I own so many plushies. I do not need the Winnie the Pooh and the Tigger, but I just love going on teddy bear hunt. And these are so cute. If you like this, you should get it because honestly, it brings me so much joy. I'm sure it would bring you so much joy. <laughs> so 
so I think that is a wrap on the teddy bear hunt for today. And I say today only because the spirit of the hunt is not gone forever, but for the moment it is in me, because I'm like, Ugh, I could go hopping around and looking for a tigger, but um, no, not today. My inner grandma is calling, hey, is calling to me, just the way that Oogie is I calling to us right now. But yes, it was a very, very fun day, and I, I was really excited about the food. Wasn't the food so good today? Like, it was so good, so amazing, so delectable, so delicious, especially that cold brew, that butterscotch cold brew was so good. Oh my God, if they do not keep it for the holidays, I will be personally so devastated. Like, it's amazing, so butterscotchy, and then the marshmallow, oh my God, the marshmallow was so good too. Okay, anyway, I digress. The burrito was amazing, so cheesy. I could actually go for another one right now, but, um. Well, one, I like shouldn't, right? Like my body will be like, please, no. And then two, I technically cannot at all because we got kicked out because of Oogie Boogie Bash. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. We will go Headless Horseman hang out and Teddy Bear hunt another day. And in the meantime, well, today was an amazing day. And also, ooh, look at this, okay. I got to wear my sweatshirt all day. The heat did not get the best of me. I went out in the end, even though I'm even still kind of warm right now. Like it got, I feel like it got hotter at night. I don't know. Anyway, it might just be me retaining the heat, but I'm also wearing my hat still and hat girls never say die. It's true. And maybe I shall become hat girl winter edition with like a beanie or something. Maybe you, if you are a hat boy or a hat girl will become a hat boy or hat girl winter edition as well. Anyway, just some thoughts, some food for thought as I ramble on. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. And if the next one, ooh, okay, the next one should be around Halloween. But if I don't see before then, happy Halloween. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>